Jingle bells, down, 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 Hello everybody and welcome to day number 24 of Vlogmas, the last, the final day in the daily uploads saga. It's become like EastEnders, if any of you watch EastEnders, it's become like that, that, that daily thing that you need to watch. The addiction within your life that says, I must move over to Damo Alexander's channel i watch for myself. So how are you guys liking the Christmas hat today? I'm thinking it's looking something a little bit festive. And actually the secret behind me wearing a hat is I've got an awfully bad hair day. So I'm gonna get it all cut up today. Do some last minute shopping bits and relax because at three o'clock this afternoon, UK time, that's me done till Wednesday. So I am so looking forward to that. And of course, we've got one video tomorrow, which is the special one, but we will touch on that tomorrow. So stay tuned to the channel for more information on how that is going to go about. So a very Merry Christmas to every single one of you, whether you're a subscriber, or whether you're not a subscriber. Hopefully you're enjoying the festive season. And if you are one of my subscribers, thank you so much for joining me for the 24 days of Demo Vlogmas series. It has been absolutely brilliant. When I first put into place that I was going to do Vlogmas this year, I, I kind of thought after six, seven days, I would have kind of jumped off the wagon and not bothered anymore. So I've actually shocked myself that 24 days later, I'm sitting here talking to you, telling you I've actually completed Vlogmas. Ugh. It's great because it means I'm going to be back for next year. So sorry, anybody that thought that I wasn't going to be back, I'll be back next year. So yeah, but you know, the whole type of feel good positivity, you know, the fact that I'm able to accomplish it and actually create 24 days of content. Many of you say, you know, how much does it take? How much involvement, how much workload? The workload and effort that went into creating Vlogmas was phenomenal. And obviously the feedback from you guys about content and what to bring has helped the situation a lot. So you see at the start of the video, you see me doing a bit of yoga, a bit of chilling. That is because today's video comes from a subscriber request who says to me to make a video about how to chill, how do we meditate, and why it's important for us why we chill. So we're kind of going into a little bit of a fitness topic as well, but hey. And as you can see, I'm not too hyper today because today I am chilling the fuck out. So. How do we chill and why is it important that we do chill? Well, you know, if you do a day-to-day -day life and you're working and you're dealing with everyday stresses, you'll find that you get built up frustration. you find that if you train in the gym, your muscles become tight, you've got doms, you've got aches and pains, and generally sometimes you get run down and that is your body saying to you, look, it is time to relax. You know, it's had enough, it's at the end of its tether and it just needs a break. Now. There are two things that I do to chill. Now, before I started gaining size during this off-season, I used to do a lot of yoga. Now, yoga for me helped me to become a lot more subtle, helped me to be a lot more durable. But the best thing about it is the end of the yoga session was something called Shabasana, which is 15 minutes of the most relaxing unwind time. You shut your eyes and you literally meditate. And the feeling of warmth and satisfaction that you get at the end of that session was just something else. I've never actually experienced anything else like a Shabasana session. And Although yoga at the time when I first started doing it was quite difficult, actually finishing the session off gave me something that on that Tuesday night when I was doing that yoga, I really wanted to do. And I did it for three to four months and it really helped me in order to become more durable when I was doing my gym sessions in order to put more size on. And actually in general, just helped me to be able to lift more, so gain more size. And the meditation obviously helped me my digestive systems and if you know yoga if you guys can get to a yoga session then make sure you can do it because it is one of those things that you really really want to be a part of we need to chill because when our bodies get to that limit where we can't take that much more you'll find that you start to get agitated you know every part of your body feels tense now you know you hear a lot of people talk about muscle tension like i've got muscle tension around here because i've done shoulders so i've got a lot of pain but i also sometimes feel a little bit agitated and on edge and that is when i know that my body's saying to me you know what demo is time to relax you know kick back and chill now 
I've had an official musical partner of this channel since day one, but I don't really talk much about it. And I'm just going to put the link up here now from a guy on Mixcloud whose name is Widow's Lounge Cafe. Now, I don't know if any of you have heard of Widow's Lounge Cafe, but he is the number one artist in chill. Now, he doesn't make any of the songs, but he creates a weekly mixtape, which he puts up usually on a Friday evening. He's based in Holland, and his whole idea was he was looking for cafes around the world where he could sit and chill. He's in his 50s, so, you know, he's been doing this whole chilling thing for a long time, but I put one of his mixes on, and I tell you what, within 10, 15 minutes, I'm just chilled as fuck, you know, I'm asleep, I'm relaxed, and, and that for me has always helped me, especially after a long day when you just want to relax and unwind and say, you know what, enough is enough. That just helped me to kick back and and relax. And I think that is a big part of it. I think a lot of the key is a lot of people say to me, look, I can't relax at night. I can't sleep. Things are going in my head. I've got a headache. I'm stressed. And that's because, you know, so many people just try to finish the day and go straight to bed. And you need to give yourself 30 to 45 minutes to just unwind and say, you know what, the day is over. And give yourself some me time. You know, that me time is so important to you being healthy in your day-to-day -day life. Yeah? It's as important as getting your vitamin C in and, and making sure that you take your daily supplements. Yeah? You need that chill time. Without that chill time, it's, it's not going to help you to repair. Um, I remember many, many years ago when I was doing my exams here, somebody taught me the whole relax and breathe technique where I was saying, you know, and just taking like deep breaths, you know, breathing from the sternum, breathing from the solar plexus, getting those deep breaths in, closing the eyes, um, saying the word relax over your head, that enables you to get the most immense chill on. And it obviously is so important, especially at this time of year when everyone's so busy working their hours, you know, grinding, hustling, grinding, and it's just like there's no time to chill. And I'm sure that when Santa Claus finishes his runs tonight, the first thing to do tomorrow is kick out with a large glass of brandy and listen to some chill-up music. I absolutely guarantee that. Of course, you know, chilling and relaxing is as important as making sure your diet has got the right nutrition in it and as clean as it can be. Um, it's, your body just needs to meditate. Just make 15 to 20 minutes a day for yourself and unwind, yeah? If you don't think that chill out music helps you, maybe a dark room, light some light tea lights, put some dim music on, put some Indian Buddha tribe music on, you know, whatever enables your body and your mind to chill, then that is what you need to do. And, you know, give me some feedback and some comments and let me know exactly what you guys do to chill. And obviously if any of my tips on today's video has helped you, because it'd be interesting to know if what I use to chill has helped anybody else that watches this video. So that is it, guys. Christmas Eve, the 24th of December, Saturday. It's just gone 1pm here in the UK. The last video of Vlogmas. It has been so amazing to be able to bring you these last 24 days. And I thank each and every one of you for sharing with me, for commenting, for liking, and for actually being a part of my day-to-day -day life. Because having you guys there commenting, liking, supporting, messaging me on Facebook, whatever, has been great. It's like having a second family. And it's actually given me that push to actually bring more content and know that there's people waiting for me to deliver and continue to deliver it so as i said yesterday january the first we start daily uploads again but as of today i am taking a seven day break just giving myself some me time back and just recuperating and enjoying the festive holiday as i'm sure i'd like every single one of you guys to do as well enjoy your festive holiday spend your christmas with your families your loved ones your kids whatever it is you're doing and i hope that Every single one of you out there get everything that you could wish for for Christmas and have the best Christmas 2016 you can ever have. And I will be back here after the Christmas period. So please make sure you check back with me. And all that's left to say is make sure you leave your mince pie and your milk out and your carrots for the reindeer tonight because Santa is coming. Have a wonderful Christmas. And if I don't speak to you before, if I don't get a sneaky video in between now and you have a great new year. And we'll see you back here January the 1st, 2017. Happy Vlogmas, everyone. And enjoy the rest of your Christmas Eve. Ho, ho, ho.